Paul a, a thoroughly professional performance from your team? Yeah, it was, and that was what was required, what we asked for before the game, to come and show the right attitude. And I think, provided we did that, we always felt that obviously we got a, a really good chance of getting through, which proved to be the case. Um, so pleased with the players. I think we could have scored a few more. A little bit wasteful, it, that's probably my only criticism from today. Um, but to score five and, and keep a clean sheet with you know, some new players in uh, the team and being able to make some subs to uh, give some of the younger players some minutes. Overall, it's been uh, a good afternoon. A big crowd, big home crowd, big away crowd as well. But um, you know, they're, they're all up for it and the secret is to quiet them down early and you did that. Yeah, I mean, I think, I'm not quite sure what minute we scored, but I know it was after 10 minutes, maybe near 15 or just a bit after. Um, and you're, you're always, you know, you, you don't want to be that story. Um, but overall, I think you're right yeah, in terms of didn't feel we let the crowd get into it too much. Um, you know, scoring the first, the second, not long after, uh, just kind of, I think, dampened everything down. They were obviously trying to, trying to get a goal for themselves, uh, putting two up front at the end, to be fair to him. But I don't think Max has had too many saves. One first half uh, to his right. After that, I thought we defended pretty well. But as you say, there will be upsets this weekend, and you know the fact that you you matched them for a work rate and everything is key, isn't it? Yeah, and again, that's what we spoke about. If we play uh, anything like a tempo, the reality is certainly across both teams. It might be the odd individual, but we would be fitter uh, and stronger, which is, is you know an obvious statement to make. But you have to to make the game play out that way to, to prove that and I think we did. We see these there were lulls in the game at times, we got people behind the ball to try and you know not so we couldn't cut them open too easily. Um, but like I said it, it's you know the surface was pretty good I have to say. Um, but with the slope and things like that, uh, there was quite a bit I felt going into the game that was there for an upset T V cameras here. So just really pleased that we, we didn't fall victim to that. And goals coming from different people again, Seb Ravan in with two. Yeah, good finishes. We know he's attacks uh, well from left back and we know that he's got a right foot as he showed with the uh, his second goal. So two good goals for him, he'll be pleased, he's had to be patient. And as I said, we've got some decisions to make uh, as we move forward. Some probably did themselves some good. One or two others, maybe I'm looking for a little bit more from. You know, if I'm being totally, totally honest. Um, but still, as I said, delighted to. Uh, uh, any chance of Seb taking the penalties at the end? Uh, John Lewis was uh, clutching onto the ball, especially after maybe the, the first one. Yeah, possibly. Um, but you know, I let the players sort that out uh, at that stage of the game. I think Seb wandered up. I think Koki maybe had a word with him just to leave Lenny to it. In hindsight, probably would have been better said taking it, but you know that's that's life. If you're going to miss a penalty, I guess four 0 up and having scored one, it's the time to do it if you're going to. You mentioned last week that you know if, if players come out of this team for any reason, it's sometimes hard to get back into it, and and you've just said again, really difficult decisions, you know, because like Sebel and other people who have come in and done so well, and yet the people who've rested in this game have done well as well. So you've got a real tough decision to make. Yeah, it is. It's what we need. I keep saying it. We need a squad, but I understand at the same time that some players, you know, won't be particularly happy. Like that, that's life. But I, what I would say is, I think it is a tight-knit group. They have showed good attitudes. They do support each other. Uh, and that needs to continue. If we, we know we can't have any fractures. I understand if people aren't, you know, as happy as maybe they'd like to be if they're not in the team, of course. Um, but to be ready when opportunities come along, and I think some of the lads showed that they were ready. Um, I'm glad to have won, and I'm glad I didn't kind of get any questions before the game about, you know, maybe being sort of disrespectful or changing the team around because. I've got a lot of trust in, in the squad and the players and I thought you know, if I had been asked that for instance that would have been out of order on their side as in let's be you know, truthful, we sh whatever team we put out should have been good enough today and you know, thankfully again that proved to be the case. And I suppose the biggest compliment you play is, is it didn't look like a team that had just made seven changes. No, um, you know, some things were maybe slightly 
different, uh, but overall, you know, I think we we got on top of the game quite early. We, we did pass the ball pretty well. Um, sometimes just that end end product, you know, that final pass or, or finish. I, I kind of you're always going to be harsh, but it, it, sometimes it does need to be better. And, and there's certain individuals that I think that particularly refers to. They they know that. Um, you know, if I was an attacking player today out there and I haven't scored, I'd be really disappointed because I think they've all had an opportunity at some point uh, across the game. I presume the players who, who didn't start today was simply because you were being, they were being rested rather than any injury concerns? Yeah, they were they just um, uh, an air of caution around Ryan Taylor um, and John McAtee actually was ruled out by injury. Um, Hopefully nothing too major. He wouldn't have started today, certainly. He, he may have been on the bench. Um, so we'll just have to see going into next week. But we have got a free week, obviously, uh, to prepare back to, to the league uh, and another home game against Rob. So you're hoping John Max will be available next week? I certainly hope so, yeah. Um, you know, I don't know for, for certain, but it was a big improvement. It was Thursday when he, he just took a, a bit of a knock. We weren't sure how it had settled down, it seems to have settled pretty well, so certainly hope. And no further from this game that you're aware of? No, I uh, was just saying there, uh, unless you know someone's played on with something that we weren't aware of, it certainly looked like we came through uh, unscathed, so again that's a, a major positive, and as we said before, we'll uh, continue to give you an headache uh, ahead of next week.